Roman Zick studies the acoustics of spaces, often large public spaces. That is reverberation. Sound propagates through the air in a spherical pattern. It weakens over distance. When it hits walls, corners, or ceilings, it's deflected. Six company, Holoplot, has developed what it calls game-changing 3D audio technology. It employs lots of small loudspeakers, not just a few large ones. And the system can direct sound to specific points in space. Conventional sound reverberates like this. The propagation is spherical, as with any source of sound. Here under these domes, the effect is extreme. The sound goes up and bounces back down again. That causes a weird acoustic effect that's really off-putting for both speakers and listeners. There's always an echo. The new sound system, by contrast, can be controlled exactly. Not just made louder or quieter, but also directed to a certain part of the room. After six years of development, Holoplot is now ready to go into series production. Companies from all over the world have shown interest, including conference centers, cinemas, and nightclubs. Zick's partner, Helmut Oehlers, is a sound engineer. He developed the new technology and was granted a patent. His aim was to produce clean sound without any echo effect, no matter how big the room. Normal loudspeakers radiate the sound in all directions, so the room determines the quality of the sound. Our idea was to direct the sound only at those listening and not at the walls or ceiling. No more echo effect in large spaces. In theory, you could have announcements in up to 16 languages side by side, each completely clear to the targeted listener. Here they're only testing three. It was from words dropped by chance that little by little how many loudspeakers does he have here, we ask? 64. Okay, so 64 loudspeakers, and does each one have a different function? No, they emit all signals, but at different times, and in some cases, different amplitudes. So the technology we have developed allows us to precisely target different areas over 50, 60, 80, 100 meters away. And on that way, we have pretty much constant volume. In Hanover at this year's CBIT, the world's largest technology trade fair, Zick showed visitors how the German railway plans to implement his company's audio system. Initial tests at Frankfurt's main station were a success. The idea is that travelers are able to hear announcements as clearly as if they were standing right by the loudspeaker. One area would be in German, another in English. In this area, you hear only English. Smoking is not permitted in this area of the station. The visitors are impressed. I would really welcome this. You get all these announcements at train stations but can't understand them, and you don't know if they apply to you or not. I think this way we'd be much better informed. And Holoplot isn't only focusing on getting rid of unwanted echoes. The company also plans to one day reproduce the sound of famous concert halls for public spaces and for homes.